Hey, what is up guys? So we got a bunch of replays of the new archetype Metal Phosis in action. Shout out to Dalpro for sending in these young sweet replays. But anyways, so the archetype is basically revolving around a pendulum based archetype that is also f using fusions. But when you mix them in with monarchs, they actually become pretty playable as of right now. Of course, they're going to get more support down the line and they're all vanillas. So cards like summoners are anything that supports vanilla monsters. Um, I know that we have that one card that special summons one straight up just from the deck. So adding this into the deck will be pretty good. You can see it makes a number 39 Utopia Beyond. You know, just the outscale, I'll play make it zero. I know the guys playing Evil Swarm is not like tier one, but the point is to show off what the deck can actually do. And obviously later down the line, if they get even more support, this deck can be even better. But the other guy makes a 101, Snatch steals the other guy's card. But uh, Karaz with this, like Karaz gets his effect once normal or special, so you can call the Haunted, destroy himself, and the Call of the Haunted, draw two cards. And what he's doing right here is he's getting his uh, extra deck completely filled up with, uh, he's running Ignites as well, so it's like a turbo version of the deck to just let you spam pendulums for days. Then he goes ahead and busts out the fusion card over here. Now we'll check out the fusion in a little bit. They've got a lot of replays to check out, and I'll also give you guys the deck profile for this. But anyways, the Aura Hulk over here, so it requires two Metal Phosis monsters, and if it attacks defense position, you get to do piercing, and this card is sent from the field to grave reading target one card in the field destroyed. So it gives you a little bit of advantage, like, okay, the card's going away, don't worry, I get some little advantage after it. But like I said, this is more of an example of showing you guys just the basic concepts of how to actually try out the deck, and maybe if you guys have been playing the deck, uh, you want to actually see a different build because I think Monarchs really make this deck uh, a lot better. But uh, anyways, you can see he's going to go ahead and Pendulum Summon for like 5,000 cards, and then he's going to activate the Fusion. And then the fu Fusion card's pretty good. Um, went a little bit fast over there. So the Fusion card, uh, we'll go ahead and briefly read while he's going off right now. So um, the effect is that you can Fusion Summon a Metal Phosis monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or your side of the field. If this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle it into your deck and draw an extra card. So it mitigates the essential minus one that you go when you're going to Fusion. Obviously you're going to use more than one monster. So uh, he's playing against uh, some like Quantum Monarchs, which has been pretty popular now that we just got the Wing Raider set and a lot of players are trying that out, see if they like it. Some people don't like it. It's kind of a, a niche uh, archetype to mix in both of them together. But nonetheless, you can see he's using the Monarchs uh, essentially for the draw power as well as the Ignite. So you have a lot of consistency here with this deck being able to not only uh, get extensive draw power, but destroy your own cards that you're just going to resummon anyways for free through Pendulum Summon. And then uh, you get that free advantage because you're drawing the extra cards with Karez's effect. Anyway, so, so he's going to activate that fusion. He's going to go ahead and bring Aura Hulk. And then he's going to go Utopia. And he's going to summon the Aether. And then his opponent busts out the Karez. Now, his opponent is able to destroy the cards. But the thing is, he's going to be able to draw two cards. And giving Pendulum players the ability to draw a lot of cards is usually not in the... Uh, you know, uh, other players favor. Like, if you give Pendulum players, like, too many special summons, or if you special summon too many cards under max C, you're just gonna lose way too much advantage because, I mean, you guys know Pendulum's, you know, complete scale, summon five monsters, oh, they died, don't worry, they're coming back. Unless it's like a Solemn Strike, but, uh, definitely looking like it's an okay archetype. At the moment, the fusions, let's go and briefly, like, look at the fusions right here while well, this replay is still going off, because, um, I feel like, as of right now, the two cards that I know of, which are the Aura Hulk, so this one is Piercing, and then uh, once it is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one card in the field and destroy it. Uh, that effect is, it's pretty decent, uh, the effect what it leaves, but the Piercing is just too mediocre nowadays. Like, there's not too many things that uh, you really just need to do Piercing against, because, again, in a Pendulum deck, you're going to summon so many monsters that you're not going to give them. Uh, anything to do piercing on because you're going to be able to attack over everything or clear their ball with Ignis or, or anything along the lines of that. But uh, also there's Cardinal. Cardinal, it, it's, it's pretty good for that 3,000 attack, but when you already have Aura Hulk over here doing 28, the additional 200 attack, it's really mediocre and it has no real effect. But it requires two uh, monsters with 3,000 or less attack, so it, it's, I don't really understand the restriction of, oh, you have to bring out this card by only using like weak monsters. like. If you have monsters with 3,000 more attack, why are you fusioning for this card in the first place? I know there might be some exceptions with like, oh, well, what about Beast King? Like, okay, well, Beast King is 3,000, but I don't know. Like, just some obscure monster, like, I don't know, uh, we go with uh, Malefics. Like, why would you make this card? I don't know. But um, 
Nonetheless, it doesn't require a Metal Focus monster, so maybe there is some more support for that. Look what he threw up, Draco Slayer, and it's just, it's looking to be a pretty decent little deck over here. Again, uh, even though, well, I mean, the guy was playing Quantum Monarchs, I would say that's relatively meta. It did top in the OCG, and people in the TCG have been, you know, relatively successful with it. Obviously, the uh, Draco Pals is still, like, one of the more relevant decks in today's meta. Now, he's playing against Heavyweight Samurais, which, actually, this is a pretty decent duel. Um, I remember watching this one, and uh, I know this deck has gotten support for days. It's one of those character decks, so it's going to get support for a long time. But uh, no one has really done anything with the deck. And I think that comes down to, well, they need pendulums, and they need to be super, super fast. And on top of uh, them needing to be super, super fast and dealing with other pendulum-based decks, uh, the problem is, is that you can't play any spells. Uh, I believe it's spells or traps. A lot of the uh, cards require... Oh, yeah, you have no spell and trap cards in your graveyard. I know that there are cards like Breakthrough Skill you can use, but for the most part, there's just a lot of problems with this deck, and uh, that is the one problem that the deck has, is that you're relying so hard off of monster effects that uh, someone throws up like a skill drain, like, what are you going to do, Twin Twister? Oh, no, wait, you can't have spell and trap cards for a lot of their effects. But nonetheless, it's still just more of an example of showing you guys how strong the uh, Metal Focus can be, and they're kind of used as like a scale engine, because the scales are pretty good, a 1 and an 8, and then um, the Steel Ren over here, since we haven't gone over their effects, let's go ahead and jump into their effects right now. So, Steel Ren over here says, once per you target one other face-up card you, destroy, uh, you control, destroy it, then you can set a Metal Focus spell and trap. So, obviously, you just go ahead and uh, majority of the time, well, you'll see what he goes for. It's usually that uh, Fusion card, I believe. And then, uh, well, if you stop going through it, look how much draw power this deck has. It's just, I feel like Monarchs are going to be hit, like, after... Uh, like maybe like Gold Seer or something. Maybe after they saw enough Wing Raiders, they'll be like, oh, okay, people are trying to Quantum Monarchs. All right, let's just nerf the deck. I think the draw power is just too crazy in Monarchs. Like it really is uh, crazy how much searching you have in Monarchs. And in addition to that, it's just the consistency of being able to open up relative. I mean, look, he's made Big Eye, he's made the Aura Hulk, and then he actually took his uh, Samurai card over here and a Super uh, Samurai or Super Heavyweight Samurai players. Can't really do too much uh, when they lose advantage. There's not like a uh, one card comeback card uh, that is really viable against like a really hard established board. Again, because you don't have those cards like Regeki, Dark Hole, uh, to be able to reestablish your board after you've already lost control. Especially with like Vandy's Emptiness, like Solemn Note or Solemn Strike. Like those cards hurt the deck so hard. That there's very little rebuttal in that deck. But anyways, going back to the other effects on the Metal Phosis monsters. Uh, we have the gold uh, driver, or gold gold driver. I think it's gold like driver, but whatever. Uh, anyways, so its effect is that once per turn you target one other face-up card you control, destroy it, and you can set a metal focus spell and trap. So they have really, really great effects. Uh, it almost reminds me of the ignites, uh, and obviously they're combining our Delapro's build over here. You combined the ignites as well as the. Uh, well, obviously it has the metal focus ignites and the uh, monarchs. Very, very good mix-up, and like I said, I'll give you guys the deck profile very soon for this deck. But, um, interesting to see someone still trying out Shadal's man. I feel so bad for Shadal players, because I think the the ban was too harsh on them. Uh, you see him playing Fiend Comedian with the uh, old-school Cephalon build that was popular in the OCG uh, a few months back. And, uh, I don't know, maybe that's the way to play the deck now, because right, as of right now, uh, with no Construct, I feel like they should have just put Construct to 1, but, like, going from Construct uh, just to down to Band is just... It's pretty harsh. I think a lot of players were pretty upset about that. But like I said, the draw power is pretty real with the Karaz over here. And uh, yeah, Piercing actually came in pretty handy against the Falco over here. Falco's going to bring back the Dragon. He attacks the Dragon. Oh, 48. Piercing, man. Very good. Is this all Metal Foses? Uh, if a Metal Foses. So that includes all of them, man. Yeah, worked out pretty well for him. All right. Let's check out the final duel that we got. It's versus the Melodist Divas. Now... If you guys haven't played against Melodious Divas, it can be very annoying when Arya gets special summoned early on, but uh, because the Metal Foxes have that piercing effect, uh, I, I think it, it could definitely deal with this deck much easier. Some other decks, they're like, I try to Black Rose, I can't, you know, because like the uh, some of the cards also protect it. Uh, I know Arya over here makes it so uh, Melodious can't be destroyed uh, by battle, and you can't target them. There's another one where they can't be destroyed by card effects, and at that point, it's really dirty. Um, you can see he's got double caresses over here, two level sixes, so easy access to that Utopia card that we saw in the first duel, but it's looking to be a pretty strong archetype. Uh, I want to know, guys, in the comment section below, what other cards do you think would be good 
uh, in this deck because I think that there's a lot of potential for this deck to be good. Um, with the Monarchs, I mean, like I said, the draw power is absolutely unreal in this. You can see him going through like half of his deck every single uh, few turns. Like he's just searching for days with Summoner's Art, and uh, and then he's got the Aether over there, and he goes summons Karaz. Karaz to pop the useless cards, and then he gets to proc that effect of the Metal Fosis Fusion, putting it back, and then drawing a card, and then obviously with that call behind that he has straight is already irrelevant anyway. So it's like a plus like one. At, Maybe you can consider it plus two. Obviously, you still have to use that card to bring out Karaz in the first place. But overall, really good stuff. And with the piercing, he's able to make a game. But anyways, thank you, Del Pro, for sending in this. Let me know, guys, how can we make this deck even better. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you give that like button a T-slap. And it's been your boy, Will Smith, signing out.